Okay, this is a furnace ignition sequence. Power is applied, there's a call for heat. First thing that should happen is the combustion blower comes on. And now the pressure switches will verify that the combustion blower is running from this little tube right here that connects on the combustion blower. It measures the negative pressure that's created in, uh, by the combustion blower. As you can see, it says minus 0.08. And once it rectifies that these are that the blower is running, it'll bring the igniter on. You can see the igniter is now glowing. And after about 15 or 20 seconds, it'll click, which is the sound of the gas valve turning on. And then flames will come on. And then the uh, flame sensor right there senses the flame. And uh, the board senses that there is a flame present which means that the valve is good to stay on. And then after a set amount of time um, delay, the main blower will come on in here. And if the main blower were to not come on, then that switch right back in there in the center would trip out the furnace because that's the high limit switch. Okay, now the main blower did come on. So that's how uh, standard furnace ignition sequence. If there was something wrong with your furnace, you can kind of pinpoint at which uh, step in the ignition sequence that the furnace got hung up. Not good.